Right, Raf here from Prop Maker. This is the channel that helps you restore stuff and make stuff and now repair stuff. So this is my brother's uh, pride and joy, the last action hero. Can't remember what year it came from. Do you remember, Ro? Not exactly. That <laughs> doesn't matter. We'll look it up and it'll be on the screen. This has uh, only one minor detail that needs to be fixed on this, and that is someone along the way cracked the topper. So I'm going to uh, take this one on board. I'm not going to fix it on the spot, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home back to Adelaide and I'm going to fix that from there and send him the repair job that he can build the rest of it himself. You're watching Prop Maker. Roll the thing. Just doing my job. Right, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he is the man in this game. Totes a big crane there in the middle of the play field and you can see there's lots of callbacks to things that happened in the film throughout the artwork on the play field. This uh, machine also toted a really cool looking plun uh, uh, launcher, ball, ball launcher, uh, which is in the shape of a revolver. And as you can see, the artwork on this is pretty amazing. Uh, my brother's version of this game is pretty tidy. It's pretty, you know, old. It's been um, uh, well looked after, although it did sit um, for quite some years on his deck, which meant that, uh, you know, if the elements were around, then he'd have to cover it up. But um, for the most part, None of the elements really got into this machine, so it's still in pretty good nick. Um, you can see that crane, look at that. There's lots of pop bumpers there and lots of targets. There's a couple of those uh, tunnel holes there that grab or sink holes and uh, loads of drop targets and stuff. It's a really fun game. And you can see on this topper, um, my brother's is quite damaged. We went off looking on the internet and we really couldn't find anything that was affordable that, um, that people had for sale. So I decided to make one. So I flew back to Adelaide, hightailed back there. And when I got here, I opened up my browser and I opened up Fusion 360. Now I'm in no means a Fusion 360, um, expert i am learning just like anybody else who uh, opens up so here you can see me opening up uh, the side plane um, and i'm basically creating the angles that i had uh, on my notes uh, now i'm just coming up with the side profile now with this side profile i am being pretty accurate however um, there are a few things I'm going to leave to uh, to allow Rowan to, to uh, uh, trim the model back once it's actually been created. Here I'm measuring up the badge for the front and as you can see I actually had the artwork, I recreated the artwork in Photoshop for that badge um, so that we could, or, uh, didn't have to actually try and take the sticker off the other uh, original one. And so I've just put a little bit of a lip or a bit of a um, extruded area that that badge can sit on. And so you can see I've extruded it there and now I'm putting my curved, uh, curved corners on. So once it's a bit smoother, it'll be ready uh, for me to actually take on uh, printing. So I'm just checking at this point whether all of my measurements are okay and making sure that the angles are fine. And so here I'm starting to smooth off the um, sharp edges because uh, the original didn't have any sharp edges. Let's see, I've got my lip there. Now I didn't put the three screw holes in each side. I figured Rowan could uh, drill those when it got there. And you can see I've almost completed it, but what I need to do now is chop out some cutouts for the side and hollow it out. 
So here I'm hollowing the whole model out and now I'm basically extruding out some from the side but I'm being a bit generous here so that Rowan can trim back uh, trim back what he needs uh, so this is pretty much just just putting some geometry in there and just uh, taking out that um, basically creating a big trapezoid model through there and just using it as negative space and that gives me my my cutout and so as you can see it's pretty much almost done and i'm now exporting it into my pc and i've opened it up in my 3d browser and now into my slicer which is uh, simplify 3d placing it onto my uh, print surface and slicing it as you can see there it's saying that it's going to take 57 hours to print um, i think that uh, that was slightly inaccurate down to 36 hours now up there um, let's see i'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to print this to have the least amount of supports to knock out of it knock off it um, so now I figured that out and I'm going to go for a print now. I may have actually um, tried this a couple of different ways, but we'll see. I think this is it and I've chucked it onto my USB key, loaded it into my printer and it's printing. And yeah, it took about just over a day to print. You can see those supports are being created and that was overnight and I think the camera even got knocked down here somewhere no, that's all right and then I took it over to out to the yard go to light sand go to spray paint stuck my, my badge on after laminating it and I sent it off and packed it off to Queensland to my brother that badge is just held on with Velcro so that he can reprint it if he needs to. So here it is fitted, fitted uh, by Rowan. Uh, he um, took the Dremel to those edges and got it as close as he could. And uh, it's looking pretty uh, fine from the front. Um, yeah, so that is the last action hero topper made from scratch, uh, modeled, Printed, painted, mailed, packaged, fitted, and uh, it's brought the last action hero, or at least his, uh, back to its former glory. So you've been watching Prop Maker. Like and subscribe if you like these videos. It's time for me to say goodbye. Roll the thing.